Well, it almost seems like Israel 365 might be looking at my videos. Um, everything I told you about King Charles III's coronation and all the ingredients of the holy, sacred anointing oil for the coronation ceremony is being changed as well. So, they just posted this March 5th, Adam Eliyahu Berkowitz, of course, and it basically says, British monarch to be anointed with Jerusalem olive oil. And what's interesting is that he posted this scripture, you shall take the anointing oil and anoint the Mishkan and all that is in it to consecrate it and all its furnishings so that it shall be holy. Well, that was the, you know, tent of meeting, basically, before the temple. The Mishkan, the temple replaced the Mishkan. So that's interesting that they're going to be building the third temple sometime soon, and they're going to be anointing a king soon. And everything that I said and told you that the Lord had revealed to me looks like it's going to come to pass. And some of you probably already heard this news. I know some of you did. But I did two videos last night and was waiting till this morning to actually report on this particular thing. But King Charles will be crowned on May 6th with the oil called chrism oil that will be used to anoint the new king. And it comes from olives harvested from two groves located on the grounds of the Monastery of Mary Magdalene and the Monastery of the Ascension on the Holy Mount of Olives. And the Monastery of Mary Magdalene is the burial place of King Charles' grandmother, Princess Alice of Greece, also known as Princess Alice of Battenberg. She passed away in 1969 in Buckingham Palace. But as per her request, her remains were transferred to the church in Jerusalem in 1988. And I talked about all of this already, but in 1994, she was honored by Yad Vashem as righteous among the nations for hiding Jews in her house in Athens, Greece, during the Holocaust. In 2010, the princess was posthumously named a hero, or Shiro, as Winona Judd says, <laughs> of the Holocaust by the British government. The royal family posted at the Church of the Holy Sepulcher in Jerusalem the chrism oil which will be used to anoint the king at the coronation in May has been consecrated by the Patriarch of Jerusalem and the Anglican Archbishop in Jerusalem. And that was tweeted by the royal family about King Charles III. The olives were pressed in Bethlehem, and the oil was consecrated in Jerusalem's Church of the Holy Sepulchre by Patriarch of Jerusalem, his Beatitude Patriarch Theophilus III, and the Anglican Archbishop in Jerusalem, the Most Reverend Hosam Naum. The oil was perfumed with essential oils, sesame, rose, jasmine, cinnamon, neroli, benzoin, and amber, as well as orange blossom. And I talked all about this before in my video, so it's really amazing that this is coming out from Jerusalem now. The formula has been used for hundreds of years and will also be used for the anointing of Her Majesty, the Queen Consort, the Duchess of Cornwall, Camilla Shand. The Archbishop of Canterbury commented on the significance of the oil, saying, I am honored and grateful that His Beatitude Patriarch Theophilus III and Archbishop Hosam Naum have consecrated the oil that will be used to anoint His Majesty the King. I want to thank especially His Beatitude for providing this coronation oil, which reflects the king's personal family connection with the Holy Land and his great care for its people. Ah, <laughs> he fits right in there, don't you think? 
Archbishop in Jerusalem shared in the consecration of the oil. Since the beginning, the planning for the coronation, my desire has been for a new coronation oil to be produced using olive oil from the Mount of Olives, he added. This demonstrates the deep historic link between the coronation, the Bible, and the Holy Land. From ancient kings, like David and Solomon perhaps, <laughs> everything I talked about, through the present day, monarchs have been anointed with oil from this sacred place. As we prepare to anoint the king and the queen consort, I pray that they would be guided and strengthened by the Holy Spirit. The newly crowned monarch is anointed by the Archbishop of Canterbury who places the oil on his head, hands, and heart. Anglicans consider this to be the holiest rite of the service, so much so that it is hidden from the congregation's view by a canopy of state. This is also why it was not filmed during the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II in 1953. Nor was it photographed in 1937 during the coronation of King George VI and Queen Elizabeth II. It occurs just prior to the presentation of the crown jewels to the sovereign, which is in turn followed by the actual coronation. That's when they give the king his power and authority. They give him the royal scepter. There's the regular scepter in one hand and another scepter with the dove on top that represents the Holy Spirit. He's given the orb and the crown and the bracelets and the king's ring. And then he's given all power and authority. BBC praised the choice of the oil for its vegan composition, explaining that previous versions contained civet oil from the glands of small cats and ambergris from the intestines of whales. Well, I talked all about that in my video, didn't I? <laughs> so they're saying that they are doing a different version of the holy coronation oil that's been done for centuries and they're removing those two things. Now listen to this. British Israelism. Are the British royals descended from King David? British Israelism, also called Anglo-Israelism, is the belief that began in the 16th century that the people of Great Britain are the direct descendants of the ten lost tribes of ancient Israel. Some adherents further claim that the British royal family is of lineal descent from the house of David via a daughter of Zedekiah, the last king of Judah. According to this legend, gosh, I've talked all about this in my videos. According to this legend, the prophet Jeremiah and his scribe Baruch escaped with the king's daughters, which is actually written in Jeremiah 41.10 and 43.6. They went to Egypt. They later traveled to Ireland. They went across the Mediterranean Sea by ship. And they... Um, when they traveled to Ireland, this is where one of the surviving Judahite princes named Teatefi married a local high king of Ireland. From this fabled union, the Davidic throne was supposedly preserved, having been transferred to Ireland, then Scotland, and later England, whence the British monarchs are alleged to have descended. Listen! The Stone of Schoon, which has been used in the coronation of Scottish, English, and British monarchs for centuries, is traditionally claimed to be the pillow stone on which the biblical patriarch Jacob slept, and the stone used in David's coronation.
to be the pillow stone on which the biblical patriarch Jacob slept and the stone used in David's coronation. The central tenets of British Israelism have been refuted by archaeological, ethnological, genetic, and linguistic research. What are the odds of Adam Eliyahu Berkowitz bringing out everything I said in my videos about this and just connecting the dots that in the book of Revelation, that is the ancient monarchy coming back to life from having the deadly wound by a sword and yet lived. So a king is going to sit on that last throne and you just heard the article from the mouth of those in Israel and I just have the chills that this is coming out from Jerusalem from Israel itself when I've told you everything about this in my videos about the holy anointing oil and when the ceremony happens and just that they will accept him as their ultimate earthly king it looks like it's just really lining up and this is coming out of Jerusalem the royal family stated that you know at the Church of the Holy Sepulcher in Jerusalem the chrism oil which will be used to anoint the king at the coronation in May has been consecrated by the Patriarch of Jerusalem and the Anglican Archbishop in Jerusalem so add this to the prophetic events that are unfolding before our eyes and it's truly stunning. So I just wanted to give you a report on this. I wanted to do it last night, but I'm just getting it out today, and I hope you appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe, and please support my channel. I am very much needing your help, and thank you very much. And get a copy about the true king of kings, the Lord of lords, the almond tree, Aaron's rod, the Messiah, king of Israel, from OlivePressPublisher.com. You will love the revelations in there. Never seen before in the history of the world, but revealed by the Holy Spirit. And that includes some pretty stunning things, including the location of the temple. Alright, well, what do you think about this addition to the story? So these olives came from Jerusalem for the olive oil that they're including in that entire mixture. Pretty stunning. So I'm borrowing my mother's copy of my book and she read through it in 2016 by the grace of God she got to hold it in her hands this is available from olivepresspublisher.com and believe me it's worth every penny because it came from the Holy Spirit and it took a lot of work and effort to put it down in the way that God had wanted me to do this. I pray you're blessed by it and also it was acquired at the Harvard University Library by the Leon I and Louise S. Gubin Judaica Endowment revealing the Messiah of Israel to Israel for the last days and it's completely exciting and thrilling.